and thank you very much for clicking play on this video where I'm going to show you how to set up your TP-Link router. Okay, to begin with, let's go to Google and type in TP-Link login. Okay, there you go. So you need to go to tplinklogin.net, which is here. And now you get, you know, as the password and username and password. Now you can find this at the bottom of your TP-Link router. So, you know, in the underside, just look there, you'll find your password. Now, if if the web address doesn't work, you can also use an IP address. Now, to get this IP address, again, it can be in the back of your router, or you can contact your internet supplier and ask them for the IP address. But usually, it's either 192.168.0.1 or, uh, you know, 1.1 instead of the zero there and you press enter you can see you get the exactly the same result you still have to enter your username and password okay now after you find your username and password all you do is you log in and you're going to see what you're going to find is this okay now i recommend you not to mess too much in the settings basically all you need to do here is to set up to make sure you get an internet connection so let's click here on quick setup and once you get the quick setup you're just going to go next now remember you got to need your uh, username and password from your internet provider so the router can connect to to the line okay so I'll click next again now wait a few seconds here and and there you go so now he asks you for your username and password twice you put the password you click next and pretty much this is done okay another thing you want to do is in the back of your router depends on the model you have but the one i have is the tl wr841n and my has a button on the back that i can turn off uh, the wireless connection you know the wi-fi connection now once that's done uh, another thing you may want to do is change your your um, wireless password okay which is a different password from the connection Depends, okay, some internet providers use the same password, but I change my password is to the internet connection is different to the wireless connection. And there you go, so really don't mess too much with this. Okay, the next thing you need to do is to make sure you have the latest hardware version or driver. And mine you can see here, it shows there, okay, I already checked is the, la the latest one. And you can also go to system tools and upgrade and there it is again now if you uh, for you to find out which what is the latest version what you need to do is go to the tp-link.com website and we go here under support download then you need to find your router uh, version or number okay which is this one here mine is this one here so I click there and then I can see that the latest version is this one which is the one that is installed on mine so I don't need to do that so to, but if you do need to do that all you need to do is download that your desktop okay make sure you know where you're downloading it to and then go back here choose file find it on your desktop okay and select the file and once you then you simply click upgrade and there it goes please comment rate and subscribe I'm Zenunz bye bye for now